Hello everybody, welcome to 3D Worldwide. In this tutorial today, I am going to show you how to create a salt and pepper shaker from an extended primitive using NURMS. Let's get started. On the command panel, behind standard primitives, we'll find extended primitives. Select Shamfi cylinder and drag it out to the top viewport. In the parameters, we'll change radius to 30, height 110, fillet 6, height segments 7, fillet segments 2, sides 12, and the cap segments 3. Z to zoom in. We'll right click, convert to an editable poly. On the keyboard, Alt W. Go to the vertex mode, enable ignore backing, and we'll select all the inner vertices, holding the control button. Now, with the Alt button pressed down, let's deselect every second vertex of the inner circle. Over to the command panel, let's scroll down to chamfer and the chamfer setting box. Let's apply 1.5 amount and enable open then OK. Click anywhere in the viewport then F. This has brought us into the front viewport. To scroll down here over to the command panel disable ignore backing and select edges. We'll select this edge on the second row down and then loop. This has looped all the edges all around our cylinder. We'll scroll down to extrude. In the extrude height, set it to minus one. The extrusion base will set to 0 0.5, then OK. Scroll up. Now we're going to go to the polygon mode. We'll select the front polygons. One, with the control button held down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To the command panel. Inset. Insect setting box. Now we're going to set the inset to 0 0.5. OK. We'll do another small extrusion. This extrusion we're going to set to minus 0 0.5. Click again anywhere in the viewport and Alt W. Here we are. Now we can see we have the perfect shape of our salt and pepper shaker. The only thing is we'd like to make it a little more softer and smoother. So let's scroll down. To the subdivision surface mode and enable use NERMS subdivision. And now, under the display, itinerations will set to 2. Let's see now how smooth our cylinder is. Let's render. 
here we are now you can see we have nice rounded curves rounded holes and the perfect rounded corners in the shape for our window let's go one step forward and add some material push M on the keyboard okay before we actually go into the material editor let's go to assign the mental ray renderer so on the top toolbar let's go under rendering rendering setup let's scroll down under common right down to assign renderer production default scanline renderer we'll click here on the small box mental ray renderer and ok now if we click on the first color slot then the standard button we can assign the arch and design material let's double click arch and design under the select a template we're going to choose a nice glossy plastic then the color default we'll pick a nice bright yellow let's have a look if we can find a bright yellow there we are let's drag it over to our object I'm going to orbit a little here just so I can see it better and I might even put it into full screen let's do Alt W just going to move that a little bit and now I'm going to select the 12 polygons again holding the control button one scroll up select grow then over to the material editor choose the second color sphere and we'll just drag that over here now to the 12 polygons standard we'll put an arch design material to it from the select template we'll pick a glass maybe the thin geometry glass close the material editor let's orbit around then render and here we have our salt or pepper shaker thank you very much for joining us hope you enjoyed